hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance. What's up everyone? This is the Tin Man with the Resistance. If you're watching this, you are the resistance. And today's video is once again about YRV. Danny boy, we missed you. I noticed at least once a month around the same time you pop up on my channel and other channels pushing your little bullshit doing the same thing you always do. Seriously, dude, do you not have anything better to do with your time or is this like a monthly cycle for you like you're on your fucking rag or something? Seriously, dude, get a fucking life. Stop trolling other pages and just focus on your own shit. Sitting there bringing up all your comments. And you post the same fucking comments over and over again. Copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. Come on, dude. Be original. If you're gonna troll, be fucking original! For fuck's sake, man. Oh, man. But I, I've actually been waiting for your return, and I'm going to bring up a few things here for you, Danny boy. Uh, first off, your comment on my page, you know, uh, aside from your reposting shit, you actually said something original here, and I want to address that. It says, P.S. How can you as Anonymous boycott Warner Brothers Entertainment? They own the rights to your terrorist mask of same Warner Brothers Entertainment even protects you, Anonymous, from the, y <coughs> from the YRV by violating me for copyright laws. What the fuck? Okay, well, the first part of that, why are they boycotting Warner Brothers when they own the rights to the Guy Fox mask? Um, just because somebody owns a Guy Fox mask doesn't mean they're endorsing Warner Brothers. I'm a huge Batman fan. But, you know, if somebody is doing something wrong, I'm still going to call them out. Even if they're the motion picture company who produces some of my favorite movies. Now, as for Warner Brothers holding the trademark, you know, the Guy Fox mask is a flimsy piece of plastic. Anybody can make them. And all you have to do is to avoid any copyright infringement is alter the mask ever so slightly. Uh, you can render it a different color. Uh, you can leave uh, the little lines off the eyes or whatever. You can do different pigments. And it's essentially a different mask. And you can mass produce it in any which way. Um, I know a guy out in Florida who does costume design. He's very reputable, very famous guy. Did the set design for the original Flintstones movie. He also did the design and production work for the Batman the Ride in Gotham City Backlot for the Six Flags Magic Mountain theme parks. And this guy's main focus is costume and prop development. And he sells all kinds of costumes and doesn't pay Warner Brothers or any other distribution company shit because he changes the costumes ever so slightly. Like, say, he's making a Batman costume for somebody. You just change the design ever so slightly, either enhance it, you know, add, add a few things to it, and leave the symbol off of it. And he doesn't have to pay royalties to Warner Brothers Studios for copyright infringement for producing Batman costumes. Because he's not using their logo. And he changed it up. It's not the traditional thing. You know. And the same can be done with the Guy Fox masks. And. People do that shit all the time. And Warner Brothers. Doesn't see one red cent of that shit. But. You know. All that aside. 
you sit there and again you go back to your bitching about how you're being targeted for violating copyright laws you're being suppressed and all this shit pure and simple if you don't want to get in trouble over the copyright shit or terms of use don't violate the terms Duh! <laughs> I didn't know I didn't have to, I didn't know I could avoid violating the terms I thought that was a prerequisite Duh. come on dude you can say what needs to be said and do whatever you're gonna do without violating the terms of copyright or YouTube's terms of service so for you to sit there and bitch that you're getting in trouble for violating those copyright laws and terms is your own damn fault okay you've got nobody to blame for that but yourself but it's funny how you claim everybody is trying to censor or shut you up like you're some big shot activist like Alex Jones or some shit dude you ain't shit. You're a nobody. You only have 516 subscribers on your YouTube page. And you've been around for a while. And yet you can't seem to gain any steam whatsoever when it comes to subscribers and supporters. You say you have backers. Where are all these backers? I don't see no backers. I go to your Facebook page. You're the only one subscribe to it your Twitter account for YRV been inactive for a very long time people everywhere are either on Facebook or Twitter or some other social media site so where are all your supporters Dan I don't see them where are they where are they Dan I don't see them nope I don't see them And, you know, if you have all these backers, why aren't they making videos? Why aren't they sticking up for you? And, you know, you make a lot of videos running your mouth, and yet you're the only one in YRV who is actually running his mouth. Well, maybe that's because you are YRV. There, there ain't nobody else in YRV but you. You know, if YRV, seriously, if you were to go to bed and have a heart attack and die tonight... YRV dies with you. In all reality, we both know it. So, it, that's another matter in itself. But you make you make all these videos, and nobody seems to care, and you can't gain any supporters. Yet you claim you have all these supporters, and you know, let's look at some of your videos. You know, you've made a lot of videos in the past week or so, and. I'm not going to talk about all of your videos because we all know everything you post about Anonymous is your own opinion as you've pointed out in your videos and the quote evidence you present is circumstantial at best and it's just roundabout nonsense for the most part like you're comparing the Anonymous logo to the UN logo yeah, they're similar, but they're not the same. You notice with this logo, the little bands are bending. And with the UN logo, they're straight. Yeah. I think you missed that part. <laughs> but speaking of your videos, I noticed one in particular. I watched your recent videos. But I noticed one in particular and seemed very familiar to me. Um, the video in question, anonymous video about YRV and its propaganda to deceive you. Yes. You post one of your little bubbles there saying, this is only my opinion, but I would recommend anyone that may know this individual call the FBI or local police and inform them that he is anonymous and a supporter to the November 5th 2003 action that intends to illegally arrest 
publicly elected officials violating the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, I am attempt to s in an attempt to start a civil war that will kill everyone they know and love. They should look for guns and bombs as this person is unstable and dangerous to himself and anyone around him. Hmm. Interesting how you tend to repeat yourself over and over again. Didn't you say the same shit about me, cockduster? This is the face of a terrorist. This individual suffers from some sort of bipolar, paranoid schizophrenia, possibly even Asperger's disease. This individual, if you run across him on the streets, do not approach him. He will likely kill you thinking that you're some kind of government entity chasing him down. Instead, follow this individual, find out where he lives, and report him to the FBI, Homeland Security, and or the local police authority. Give, him, give them his channel ID. I'll show that to you in the link of this video so that you can give it to the police department. Again, this individual is unstable and needs to be put in a mental institution. Yeah. Not very cool, dude. You want to try to label people and shit like that? Just because they speak out against you and then you turn around and promote your shit? at their expense, just like you do every fucking time? Sad, sad, sad. But what I really find funny here is you're always bitching about free speech. You're always, always going on about free speech until it's against you. Until someone exercises their free speech against you. You're all for it, but heaven forbid they speak out against YRV, and if they speak out against YRV, oh my god, they're terrorists, they're this, they're that, they're that. You're full of shit, dude. Put your video camera down, go to the bathroom, sit down on the toilet, and take a shit because you're full of it. And, you know, it's not just anonymous you attack either. I'm an independent activist. I support Anonymous, but I also support the Tea Party. I support the InfoWarrior movement, Alex Jones, Occupy, YouTube Warriors. I'm all over the fucking place. You know, Anonymous is just one link in the chain that I'm linked to, buddy. And, you know, you attack me, you attack several other people that come to my page that may not even be Anonymous. And most recently, you have even had an ordeal with a guy by the name of Jeffrey McLean, who, from what I see, doesn't even focus anything on Anonymous or the activist community in general or any of that shit. His focus seems to be on trolling furries and bronies. And yet you had it out with this guy. You know, so it's not just Anonymous is picking on me, Anonymous is picking on me. Dude, you're a fucking troll, and people all over, no matter what background they are, whether Anonymous or what have you, are sick and tired of your whiny bullshit. But back to the video. You had that little comment, you know, which was reminiscent to what you said about me. And then you go on to promote your own shit at the end of the video, talking about Anonymous, trashing on Anonymous. You say, go look at their videos. Go look at the videos they make about me. And then go look at my plan. Look at my plan. It's so special. It's so pretty. It's beautiful! You know, what the fuck, man? You're full of fucking shit, dude. Your whole thing, everything about you is pathetic. You are pathetic. Your actions on YouTube are pathetic. Your marketing strategy 
is pathetic and your plan is pathetic. In fact, you know, I have watched your plan so many times. I have read your emails. I got a pretty decent idea of your plan. Okay? So misunderstanding that is not a factor. The fact of the matter is, your plan is overly complicated and just overly extravagant and just overly bullshit complex for a relatively simple solution. In fact, I could probably come up with something just right off the top of my head that I could spell out just a couple of minutes time that would just dwarf your plan. In fact, I'll give it a shot right, a shot right now. First off, you either get an elected official in office of the presidency or you take over the government like what happened in Egypt, which is as per the Constitution, if the government exceeds its parameters, the United States citizens are obligated to take control of the government and restore it to its original parameters. That's as per the United States Constitution. Either that or get an elected official in there that's by the people for the people. Then you implement policies that completely undermine the New World Order agenda, just completely undoes all the damage that they've done and restores the government and the Constitution to its original parameters. Then you implement policies in addition to those policies already in place that protect the ex those existing policies that restored everything and prevent the New World Order agenda from having any more influence. No more outside influence, no more government puppets, none of that shit. Just completely cock block the New World Order from having any influence whatsoever in the United States government, even on a monetary standing. And then, after all that's said and done, the New World Order's cock blocked and the government, the Constitution are restored. You set up a website for candidates and proposed bills. And what I mean by this is you have a website in place where candidates running for any office from local and city government all the way up to the United States presidency can apply for candidacy and if approved they get their own little profile page on this website detailing who they are what they're about what they're for what they're against and all their little campaign videos in addition to that pages for whatever bills you know you got a bill coming out of Congress posted to that website details what the bill is and then people can vote on it and that would negate the need for campaign contributions because all of it's done on this website. They can post their little campaign videos for their elections or push whatever policies and whatnot. And people can go to this website free of charge. You know, might as well put our tax dollars to work on something. And then people can go and vote for that shit in November like they always do. Short, sweet, and to the point. Simple. And it only took a couple minutes to explain. It was clear, concise, made sense, and doesn't require a lot of work and was not overly complicated. See? Told you I could do it. But in all seriousness, Daniel, you really need to reevaluate yourself and your bullshit. If you want to make it in the activist community, forget your YRV bullshit. Okay? Forget everything you're doing. Start from scratch. Join up with the activist community. Start working with them and getting along with people. And stop your little campaign against Anonymous. If they're corrupt, let them fall on their own fucking sword. You know, they don't need any help from you and all it's doing is hurting you in the long run. So, just forget that shit and just start working with the activist community rather than force feeding your own little idea. Because it's my idea, it's good. Your idea is crap, Daniel.
everything you have been doing is crap and it is hurting you and it is getting very annoying and redundant get a life if you can't work with the activists then step out of the picture because what you are doing is not accomplishing anything